So Brocock have just released their new XR range going across all of the Brocock rifles. And I have the Concept XR from Brocock here. Just come out on the 22nd of January 2020. So keep watching, I'll talk specifically about the Concept XR and about the new side lever mechanisms that Brocock are bringing out with the XR range. Hi there guys, it's Steve here from Air Gunology. On this channel we do a lot of air rifles up there and air pistols as well as technology reviews. So if you're new here or you stumbled on us, hit that little subscribe button down below, hit the bell notification icon and don't forget to come and join us. Also check out in our video description underneath the YouTube video description, you'll see in there a link to all of our forums, our 3D printing and our Facebook groups on there, loads of information. But anyway, brand new rifle review time. And and what I've actually got in my hand here is one of the very first Brocock XRs. Now, for those that are not familiar, on January the 22nd, 2020, Brocock have just announced their new XR range that goes across all of the Brocock rifles. So in the old days, basically, the Brococks had the bolt action on there, which I and many, many others found that that to be fairly fiddly to do, especially when you went higher up in the FAC range. There's a lot of tension on that bolt and you'll get um, you're not loading the magazine properly or you're not cocking the rifle properly and generally those bolts are very very small well the whole of the brocock range now is being updated to a side lever mechanism so every single one of them so that is the concept light which is now going to be called concept xr you've got the bantams you've got the compatos um, you've got the commandos and the magnum ranges all of the brocock range is going across onto side lever and you'll be able to see those in the shooting show in February of 2020. But anyway, I've got the uh, Concept XR. So this was formally uh, released um, last year at the British shooting show as a lightweight brocock um, and it had the bolt action and it was called the Concept Light. Now obviously you've seen that when I interviewed Tony Beelis from uh, Brocock. And I loved the rifle so much that I wanted to get hold of one. Well, I had a little bit of insider information and I knew that the XR range of the side levers was coming out. So I've held back and I have now got the new Concept Light, or as it's properly called now, the Concept XR with the side lever on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk around this rifle like we normally do, explain it all, um, and then we'll do some shooting and I'll come back and give you some thoughts and my opinions on whether or not the XR, the concept in this case, is worth your money or not. So at the end of the day, like we said, this came from the concept light. Um, the whole idea is it's a small, a lightweight rifle. Um, it's a PCP, a 10 shot magazine, um, using a cylinder on here, shrouded barrel, etc. All nice and simple. So let's um, give you some specs on the rifle itself. Now you can get the rifle in 17722 and then you can get it in 25 FAC calibers. Um, it's length without the hugget that I've got on the end here. It's overall length is 838 millimeters and it's barrel length is 431 millimeters. The barrel is a shrouded barrel and it is a UNC threaded on the end to allow you to put a silencer of your choice on there. Now the big thing with this rifle is it comes in at a weight of 2.9 kilograms that for in old money is 6.5 pounds. Um, so that's obviously unscoped without any attachments or anything on it like I've got a bipod on it, an Atlas clone and I've got an MTC scope on here but it's lightweight yeah it's under three kilograms and it is fairly short it does look long especially when you do put a silencer on it but it's actually very short and it's balanced perfectly just on that midpoint forward of the pistol grip. Um, very, very nice on that. It is humor regulated as well. Um, so even though you've only got the one dial up the front here, which I don't, li I don't like them being there, I'm gonna, still gonna say it, it is actually humor regulated as well. So it's a regulated PCP. Um, like I said, it uses the standard Brocock type magazine systems. This is a 10 shot rotary here for 177. Very easy to load, you just turn it around, it clicks, you put the pellet in, you turn it, it clicks. Very simple, side loading from the left hand side. This is probably one of the best magazines out there. I really do like the Brocock magazine.
magazines. So even with the new side lever, uh, it still uses the old magazine system, so your old magazines will work. Um, let's talk about shot count as well, which you notice there's no body bottle on here, it's a cylinder. So um, talking about 12 foot pound and under, you're looking at about 100 shots um, for 177, and that creeps up to about 130 shots for 2.2. And I suppose what you're all asking about is the price of this. Now, I don't have the exact prices, but I've been told they're gonna be roughly the same price as the non-XR versions. So basically, you get all the new side lever, the internals, nothing on it. And basically, I think with this one, you're looking around the sub, around the thousand pound mark, approximately. But again, that does depend on your RFC, RFDs, and um, what deals you can get in place. So let's walk around the rest of it all. So basically, we have the butt stock at the back here. Now, this is coming in its standard format, has a telescopic scope uh, butt stock on it. So you can see, you can just pull it out, clicks, and so you can get the right eye relief for you. Um, it is made of really good, solid hard plastic in there. Um, it's a little bit of rubberization on there. Nothing too special, nothing too fancy. However, the Concept light will also have the optional extra of having a folding stock. So this whole stock will fold over. Now, when I get mine, I've got mine on order, I'm getting it with the folding stock and I'll do another review on that. But there we have the actual butt itself, nice and simple on like so, nice and easy. Um, and then we come down to the main event, I suppose and the main event is the cocking lever on here. Now before, like we said, it was a bolt and it will get very stiff. It's a very short throw bolt and the more, uh, the higher the rating of the power of the rifle, the harder it was. Now this bolt is just super line. Literally, it just comes back on its own, nice and simple. And then literally now, obviously this rifle's totally unloaded and then you just come back, click, cycle the rifle through, um, fire the shot off and then we just cycle through, just like any other side levers. It functions absolutely beautiful. Now, I've had a play with some of the higher powered Bantams and Commandos that are running at 40 to 50 foot pound, and the cocking on it is just the same. It is as simple as that. It does not get much uh, easier than that. Now, to do that, they've done a lot of work inside. This is a new breech block in here on the Concept XR, and of course on all of the others, so the Compato, the Bantam, they will get new breech blocks on them. And they've done a lot of work to balance the hammers on there and the regulators to make this a joy and simple to cock it. Um, very nice. And that does also mean that you cannot convert your existing concept light, your Compato, your Broke Bantams uh, over to side lever. It is a brand new breech block. It would cost you way too much to do that. So it is a new rifle. But we have the cocking lever here, absolutely nice. Um, it is like a bio style. This is the default that you get with the drilled hole um, for the lever, but it is an Allen key at the top. You could swap that out to a bit different, uh, bigger bolt if you wanted. Up the top, we have standard 11 mil dovetails uh, with the gap here for the magazine system on here. Now, the one thing with the Concept XR is that you're gonna need medium to high scope mounts so that you've got clearance to get your magazine in on that. Moving forward, it's got the usual Brocop power wheel, so that's a sub 12 foot power high power will be about 11.5 from the factory. You can dial it down to about 10, down to about nine by changing the dialer wheel here. And it's got distinct little clicks on it and you can feel the click stages. Uh, so that's very nice, very handy if you're shooting in a barn, shooting rats at 10, 15 meters and you don't want to punch through the barn at the other side. Um, underneath now we have the pistol grip area. Now with the Concept XR, it's using standard AR-15 type. So this is a standard pistol grip AR-15 type. There is a little compartment in here where you could store bits of rags and stuff for cleaning. Uh, that just pops open. But it's also in there is the bolt where you can take this all off on there. And then that moves us down onto the metal trigger guard here with a um, adjustable two-stage trigger. Now the trigger is absolutely really nice. Um, we'll just cock the rifle again. Uh, it's got a very nice distinct second stage. You can feel the first stage, second stage holds, squeeze and very nice, very light as well. And you can adjust all of that. So full metal trigger, metal trigger guard on there. And then if we move downwards, we'll see one of the major features of the actual Concept XR. That is it has a full array of Picatinny rails for all of your toys 
and accessories on the side. It's a full length one. This is not plastic. This is metal. Metal Picatinny rails that do have screws on so you can take them off on both sides and underneath so you can fit any tools you want. Torches, your um, bipods are on here. Absolutely no problem at all. Then of course we have the barrel itself. So obviously it's a match grey barrel uh, from Welfer. Um, UNC threaded at the top. Now I think it looks really nice with the hug it on there or you could put the zero db black one on there uh, from day state and brocock themselves on that it's a shrouded barrel match grade and it's a choke barrel as well so really nice and accurate uh, you'll see the shooting afterwards then we have the cylinder so we've got no body bottle on this this is cylinder um, with the uh, the gauge on the front obviously keep it in the green um, away from the red uh, 200 bar fill like we said the shot can's about 100 on 177 and about 130 on 2-2. Um, and if we move around the rifle, and the one part we've missed is the safety catch, so it's just using the standard Brocock safety catch up in front of the trigger, flip it across like so, switch it on, switch it off. Um, very nice, very simple and easy to use. Um, and that is about all of the rifle itself. To fill it is just underneath as the usual, so it's got, you can just twist the cap around uh, to protect the fill probe. It's a standard fill probe, the same one as that you'll get with the cons with the Compato, that type of push uh, fill probe. Very simple. To load the rifle, as you'd expect, you cock the rifle, the magazine, empty magazine, this one just slides in like so, fire it forward, cycle the rifle, fire, cycle, fire. Very, very nice. And we'll just give you a sound. Um, you probably are with this one wanting to put a silencer on the end of it. Now you do get the end cap uh, for the end of it. So there's the, the standard end cap that goes on the end. So if we just throw that on, then we'll see what the actual rifle looks like itself. So we've got the end cap on and then just the noise for you to hear it. It is fairly loud, it's not overly loud, um, but certainly I, I would be putting a silencer on the end of it. So that's the Concept XR. It's the new edition, like I said, with all the XRs, but now Brocock are going, everything's going at XR. The HR for humor regulator, that's been dropped from the title. It's now assumed that all the rifles have humor regulators in. But enough said about that. Let's take it outside and let's have a play with it. Um, uh, I've only had it for a couple of days and it has to go back for the British shooting show. So let's go outside, have a play with it. Uh, we'll do our usual shooting and I'll come back and I'll tell you what I really think of it. Okay, so we're outside, we've got the Concept XR and it is absolutely freezing. It's a January day, it's foggy, but thankfully there's no wind. So we're gonna do a usual testing. Um, out at 25 meters, camera down range, we're gonna go for a selection of pellets. We've got some AA Diablos, some Superfields, Barracuda, Sovereigns and a JSB Exacts. Do five shots through the magazine, unsorted pellets just check there's no damage not weighed or anything and we'll see how we get on you know the score cue the music and all of that right so we're going to start off with the aa fields diablos always a good pellet let's see how well we get on with them Okay, so next we're going to move on to the super fields, 177s obviously, five more shots. Next is the H&N Barracudas, H&N Sports, uh, Barracuda FTs, let's give these a go. Next we're going to do the Sovereigns.
and next, and finally the JSB Exacts, the 8.44s. Well, let's see how we do and go back upside where it's a little bit warmer. Okay, so I'm back inside. Now, I've not had the rifle for very long. It was a very foggy day, freezing cold. Um, and normally I would put the rifle in a shooting rest, have you seen me to do, to uh, remove the elimination on, of human error on there. But with this rifle being the shape it is and so thin, it wasn't so easy to do that. So I was having to use cushions, etc. But that said, and me being a rubbish shot, I'm actually very impressed. Um, the accuracy over 25 meters, these are unsorted pallets. Um, we can see up the top here is the H, uh, the AAs are brilliant, no problems. The Barracudas did very well, these are five shots. Um, the JSBs and the Sovereigns are great as well. And the variations in that are me, yeah, it's me with drop shots. Uh, the uh, the super fields from RWS, <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes they work, but not in this rifle by the looks of it. So it's not very pellet fussy. Use a JSB type pellet and you'll have absolutely no problems with it. Um, get a bit of practice. In it. I did find the rifle, and I think I, I said this as well about the, the Dreamline from FX, because it's so thin, it's very easy to cant. Um, you do get used to it, but it's nice and light, and yeah, everybody says it, but it, this does actually shoulder up perfectly well. And what I do like is the fact that you have the telescopic um, butt plate here, so you can get your eye relief absolutely perfect. Now, one thing I do like as well with this, being so short and lightweight, is it really does does lend itself to those snap shooting scenarios. So I did also pair it up with the new MTC Prismatic Scope, which I've le I'll leave a review about on there. And I found it a very comfortable rifle for the actual target shooting. I wanted to be as precise as possible. So I, I put a higher magnification scope on it, this MTC Obsidian on here. But um, absolutely wonderful. So in terms of uh, the pros and cons, I'll do what I normally do. So um, I think from the price um, and accuracy, yeah, the price around about the thousand pounds. So you're not top range up into the FX or the big day state um, price range there. You're around the AA low, lower end there for a thousand pound, absolutely cracking rifle. And with that, you get the magazine, the 10 shot magazine and a single shot tray. Um, so really, really happy with that. The trigger is absolutely really nice. You know, a good rifle can be let down by a bad trigger. This trigger is lovely. Um, it's set really well out of the box. A little bit of fiddling, you'll get it to the sweet point. I love the fact that you can just fill that first stage just absolutely perfect on there. Uh, the accessory rails that they give you with it as well, you can put any toys on this. You can have rangefinders on here, torches, whatever you want to put on that. So combine that with the lightweightness, uh, the accuracy, um, and then all of the accessory rails, fantastic. But the big one with this and it is it's the it's the elephant in the room is the side lever it is just totally transforms the rifle now i have shot the concept light before this one the xr with the bulk lever and it's the only thing that let it down and i'm not the only one that thinks this and brocock do recognize it especially when you go higher up in the power range and that bolt becomes very stiff the side lever just transforms this rifle and i strongly suspect and i will review the other ones as well, the other XRs like the Bantam XR and the Compato XR, but it will transform them as well. It's just so simple, so easy as you would expect. Um, just works absolutely brilliant, no hitches. Um, when I've done uh, even my Compato that I have, when I've done the reviews on that or played with it at times, I'll just not cock the rifle properly, no problems whatsoever. And it's nice that this is all metal work. The metal work on the rifle is absolutely fantastic however there is a bit of a downside is it does collect fingerprints and dust very quickly very easily uh, but at the end of the day this is 
a proper hunting rifle. It's not a display piece on here. I do like the butt stock at the back here. Even though it's plastic and feels a little bit cheapish, it doesn't, it, it, it isn't. It does its job, it does it well, and I do like the way that you can actually just adjust this for the right scenarios that you want or whatever scope you put on there. Um, when you put the hug it on there or something like a zero db or the new uh, still on there and then this is whisper quiet um absolutely brilliant so if you're in one of those areas or backyard plinking um where you don't want to make too much noise really really nice um good and i think it absolutely does look a stunning rifle certainly for those guys that are after something a little bit different maybe you're looking at the fx's the impacts the wildcats the streamline uh, the dream lines and stuff like that then perhaps this to float your boat. There are a few downsides of it. Um, one of the downsides is the low shot count on here. Being only a small cylinder on here, um, you're only, like I said, getting about 100 um, shots with a sub 12 foot 1177. Uh, but um, at the end of the day, this is a hunting rifle. Um, 100 shots should do you for a night's worth of ratting. If not, um, then I'm, it doesn't take too long just to refill it back up from a buddy bottle uh, in the back of your car. So very nice on there. Like I said, it's fairly thin as well. So um, even when you put the bipod on it, it is easy to cant it left and right, but that's just getting used to the rifle itself. It's not chunky like most other rifles that you have. This one's fairly thin-ish. By the time you've got your eye down, it's a bit. And talking about eye relief on here, um, you, you've got to check your scope mounts here. Obviously, you're going to need medium to high scope mounts. I should have really put high scope mounts on here because getting my head down, right down, is actually I need my head further down on the cheek piece. So perhaps higher scope mounts. This is not adjustable in height or anything like that, just backwards and forwards. Um, so maybe there'll be some aftermarket ones that you can get hold of there. I'm just checking my notes here. Um, yes, I can't go without saying that the gauge on the front, I hate it. Um, it will actually be nice nice to see them do it with a, as they do with all of the other Brocox, putting the gauges down the side, but with such a thin body. I'm not sure if they could do it, but it would be nice if they could do that. Um, like I said, um, one other good point is that the magazine system, there's the magazine on here, we'll take it out. It's like I said, it's one of the best magazine systems that I've ever used, even on the compatibles, even with the bolt action, the magazine generally has never let me down. Simple to load, simple to do, pretty foolproof, slot it in, it works. Combine that now with the new side lever, um, absolutely brilliant. And you can decock these rifles as well by holding and pressing the trigger and decocking it like so. It releases the, the hammer tension and decocks the rifle. Um, so yeah, absolutely cracking a little rifle. Is it worth a thousand? Yes, I would say that is worth a thousand. I think it has the looks. It's something new um, other than the Compatos and the Bantams and the Commandos are all Cerakoting on them. This one, you know, this one is stand out from the crowd. It certainly competes up with the likes of the Dreamlines and some of those other type of tactical looking rifles. I think it's brilliant when they put the, um, when I get mine with the folding um, stock on it, then that will help keep the size down um, into a smaller case for taking it out when I want to go hunting or off to the range on it but I think this is absolutely cracking rifle the build quality is fantastic second to none and if you pair it with something like a prismatic scope from MTC on there you have the perfect little walking around the farm in the wooded areas taking out the uh, the, the squirrels and the pigeons and the doves absolutely brilliant and ultimately with the whole of the XR range I just love the fact that this side lever is on here that my one pet hate with Brocock was that cocking lever uh, that cocking bolt I just did not like them they did not seem to work for me and it did put me off shooting them, but this side lever on it totally, totally transforms the rifle. So as I said, you can see these at the British Shooting Show in February. Um, RFDs should have them pretty soon, and I believe they're even selling some of them in the uh, British Shooting Show. Um, let me know your thoughts and comments down below. I'd love to know what you think of the Concept Lite or the new version now of the Concept XR. I'd love to know what you think about the uh, new method of the side levers on the, bro on the Brocox now for uh, the XR range. Um, leave your thoughts, your comments down below. I'd love to know and I'll catch you on the next video.